Good morning, everyone. This is Todd Creekrock back for another exciting day here on the Ark Survival Evolved Volgaro map. This is day 303 of my little adventure here, and well, I've been waiting all night on some eggs to hatch, and I'm still waiting. Got a giant purple snake sticking through my building here. But anyway, let's go out here and see how far this fire wyvern egg likes being ready to hatch. Like it is still seven more minutes away from hatching. Now I got a couple of T-Rex eggs here that I also got last night. They're still 26 minutes away. I'd like to fly over and pick up my Allosaur. I did hatch those Argentavis eggs too, but the only thing I got was a 274 male, which I already had. So it's really not much use except for it's a different color than my other one. So I decided to keep it. But I guess I'm gonna have to hang around here for seven more minutes. What can I do for seven minutes? If I got any wood left. See if I got any wood left. If I do, I might craft up some more. Nope, I got no wood left. I'll take my mammoth out here, throw all these berries in my, in my feeding trough, take the mammoth out and grab a little bit of wood. I'd like to do some different stuff, but i got to wait on that egg to hatch. Six minutes to do a little bit of wood harvesting. Come on, mammoth. I'm not going to get much done here because there's just three or four trees on this island. And we don't really have time to go to the other island. So we're just going to get what's right here. Pauline, a few more melee damage points. Got quite a few narco berries that are actually a lot better than I was expecting. Very little fiber though. Or thatch. Getting kind of low on thatch. I'm going to figure out which animal collects thatch the best and take it out at some point. Serious click stats, but I don't think it's really all that great at it. Let's go, we should be getting pretty close to time for that wire egg to hatch. Be on 
unusual having a fire wiper. We got several glass wipers, but no fire ones just yet. Make sure we're still incubating all right. And it is three more minutes. It's doing fine. Let's pack this wood in. We are completely out of storage chests, so I'm going to make a few of those up while I'm waiting on that egg. No, actually what I should be doing is taking these narco berries and making a bunch more narcotics. Let's get that going. Let's see another Dinonicus egg down there. Bet your last row. This is getting pretty choppy in here. I'm going to have to start putting some more dinosaurs into crowd pods, I think. Keep the base running smooth. seem to make very much for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay, what do I need to make chess with? I think I need some fiber. That ain't very much. Crafting, do I have the chess thing opened up? Probably not because I reset my ingrams again. Art needs to fix that. That is a pain to have to redo your ingrams every time you do something. have enough to make any now. How many is that? Just two? What am I going to be short on? Fiber? Do we have any more fiber over here? We do not. Let's go check on our egg and I know where we got fiber at though. One more minute. We got one more minute and 11 seconds on that egg. Grab us a stack of fiber and craft up a few more storage chests. Probably won't be out of thatch this time. Yep, we're already out of thatch. Already don't have enough thatch. There's a little bit though. Gets us two more. Guess I'm gonna dump all this stuff into the smithy over here, and I've got to get out and check on that egg. We don't want the wyvern to get killed on the on the fires out there. I'm just gonna dump these chests in there for right now. There's my magnifying glass. That's what I've. How did that get in there? Is what I want to know. I needed that yesterday. He'll get himself right in the torches. Or he's probably stuck. Gonna have to shorten follow distance, I think, or something. Yep. 
don't know what's going on. I can't see. Did you get out of there? You are up under this Argentavis, aren't you? Come on, see what you look like real quick here. I want to leave him out and see if he'll grow up, but the mature rates are going to be so fast that I won't be able to get an imprint on him, and I don't want to do that. Let's check his food level and stuff. His food level is 1,190.1. His health is at 24.86. I put my dead on up. I don't know if I need it or not. And I know this guy will not eat, but I'm going to stick a little bit of food on him anyway, I think. Stats. He's got 2,400 health, 467 stamina. He's got terrible stamina and terrible melee, but he's only a level 60, though, so I shouldn't expect him to have good stats. Looks pretty cool. Kind of got orange wings and a black body, but like I said, I'm not going to be able to let him do much here. I'll have to put him in a crowd pod. See how long I've got on these eggs. I might have time to run and get my, get my Allosaur. Grab a little meat and throw on that baby wyvern and go get her allosaur. Get back and we'll probably just have to put the wyvern in the cryopod. I think I've got time to get out there and get back before this tin eggs hatch. I know this is probably a waste of time putting meat on him. He's at 2%. We're going to let him grow up a little bit. Let's go get that Allosaur. Hopefully he won't die before we get back, and then we'll put him in a crowd pod. When we get back, then we'll deal with our baby T-Rexes. They should be about ready to hatch time we get back also. Good thing this wyvern is fast, because there's no way we'd make it over in 15 minutes on a Argent Davis. I'm going to be pushing it a little bit on the wyvern, but I think we'll do it all right. I'm hoping that the house has got some really good stats on it. I've got my stat sheet right here. I can figure it up when I get him, get to him and see if he's got anything better than my other Allosaurus. I'm hoping his health stat will be a lot better. So I think it already had 3,000 something health before I tamed it, so that's probably going to be the best bet of a good stat on him. He probably was a waste of kibble, but I've had to try it anyway. Didn't want to kill a 140. He might have come, might come out with something really good. My best, my best uh, Argentavis with melee stat was only a 145. It came out with crazy high melee, but I'm sure this ain't going to have good melee. Let's get down here and see how he turned out. Anything dangerous down here now? Cut the Allosaur for backup now if anything is dangerous. He should be a 206 or 209, 209. Okay, he is a 209. Did you get any good stats? 209. I'm glad you got some kibble left for me. You got 4,100 health, 1,300 stamina. You got a better stamina stat than any of other Allosaurs, but that is not really important. Better food. Yep, that's pretty much it. Stamina and food. Not that great. But he's tame now. I'm taking him home. 209 female Allosaur. Be good to, for eggs later on if I get to raising up a bunch of Allosaurs. 
Let's do a quick fly over the big mountain here and see if any more Rexes have spawned other than the blue one. Other than the level 20 blue one. And we got to hurry up and get back for those T Rex eggs hatch. Got two T Rex eggs on the cooker. I want to see if that blue T Rex is still over here. Yep, there he is right below me. Baby blue T Rex with a pink stripe. Sad thing is, he's only level 20. And he's fighting a pack of raptors. He'll probably die to that pack of raptors. Why is a T-Rex fighting a pack of raptors? I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. He killed one of them. I've got to get back. i got baby T-Rexes that could hatch real soon. Hopefully the baby blue T-Rex doesn't die. pretty soon. That would be a good name if you kept your colors. Purple Snow Cone. Fly faster. I don't know how far off those T-Rex eggs are probably within about five minutes of hatching now. Yep, I don't think I've ever seen raptors fight with T-Rexes before. seen Argentavis' fight with them. Seems kind of strange that a pack of raptors would be after a T-Rex, though. I know when you're riding T-Rexes, they won't mess with you at all. They just walk around under your feet and won't do nothing. That's what it used to be, anyway. That might have changed, though, since they're fighting over there. Let's get down here and see how long, far along our T-Rex eggs are. I know they ain't hatched yet because I still see them over there. This guy's going to have to be put in a cryopod. 5%. We may let him get up to juvenile before we stick him in a cryopod. He's not going to eat nothing. His food's going to slowly tick down. If I let him go ahead and grow up, he would mature up pretty fast, but probably fast enough that I won't have to do nothing. Minutes really. I got over and back that quick, and it's nine on that one. Oop, let's go put the allosaur in the cryo fridge. I don't see no reason to get him out here right now. Don't see no reason to get him out unless I decide I want to start breeding up some allosaurs. I've got some really good ones. I got a little extra kibble left over here from the allosaur, so he didn't really take that much. I think I had 21 in him. And I think it only took nine of them, so that was pretty good. And I forgot I left my chemistry bench on when I left, didn't I? Let's go check on that. Yep, I did. I was making up narcotics. Make up a little bit more here. Full of meat doing. I got plenty, don't I? Don't have enough flint to make any spark powder. I just don't know what I'm gonna do for the next 10 minutes waiting on those eggs. I guess I'm gonna take the mammoth out and do some more tree farming. Got 10 minutes on that one and 8 minutes on that one. See what we can do in the eight minutes. Get 
wood off of him that he's got. Well, he didn't get much, did he? And I need these mayhu berries. And I guess the red one's off, so I might make some more health brews. So let's take these and stick them in the refrigerator. I can carry them. I probably can't carry what I've got, can I? Wyvern, you better not die on me. I definitely need to put him in a crowd pod soon so I can get an imprint on him. I actually need stone worse than I do wood, or need thatch worse than anything. What critter's good at getting thatch? Berries go on in there for me. I don't usually like to store berries in the refrigerator, but I'm always running out of the purple ones. Need them to make the good kibble with. And let's think, which animal would be really good at them? thatch? Diplodocus over there, see how that works. Knock down some trees on that other island real fast. Diplodocuses are pretty quick. Take Kathy, I ain't rode her in a long time, or Betty. This is Kathy, ain't it? Let's go, Kathy. Let's take a quick trip over to the other island and see if we can collect up some wood here. There's some thatch, I mean. Gallop in here. Diplodocus has a 10 person seat on it. Pretty fast here, just a minute. What gonna knock this tree down? But it's in my way, so you're going down tree. Since the beginning, 
ever was, but it's something. Let's go see how those eggs are doing. Go check on our baby wyvern. We don't want that thing to die on us. We'll have to keep an eye on its food. And then we'll have to keep an eye on... 1 minute and 47 seconds to yet. Keep an eye on its health and its food. Picked up those old stemberry seeds. Dump those and dump that rotten meat. Let's go check on our baby wyvern. Then we've got a minute and something for the T-Rex. Where are you looking here? I don't know how much I want to let him grow up before I crowd potty, because I do want to get an imprint on it. If I can imprint it, it will be much better. Really no sense of me putting any meat in him. Its health is actually going up right now and its food is going down, but it's really slow. So he'll probably be alright. Let's let him go. Let's go check on these T-Rexes. They should be about ready to hatch. 48 seconds. I guess I don't really need any meat right this moment. This one still likes two or three minutes on this one. I probably shouldn't even be hatching a bunch of T-Rex eggs because my T-Rexes aren't that great right now. Still hoping to combine some stats together on it though. Let's see how this comes out. I've got my best T-Rex stats wrote down on something here. Main thing is it has the best health and the best melee. Two seventeen. It's about like the other one up there. It's got the black color though. Did I actually pick up that egg? I think I did. Didn't mean to do that. What'd you get? You didn't get the good health. What happened here? You got a bad draw of stats there, buddy. I didn't get this other egg hatched up. I accidentally eaten one of my Argentavis eggs the other night. I don't want to do that again. Oh, baby Rex, did I put him on disabled wonder on him? He's not a bad Rex, but he did not come out with the good stats out of his parents. And 
he's also, well, he is a, or she is a female, so that's good. That'll be an extra egg I can get, but I don't know if I want an egg from this one or not. I'm just going to pass along some bad stats if I do. So I probably won't be mating that one. Check on this baby fire wyvern again. It does appear that its health is going up, but its food is going down very slowly. So it's basically going to be just like the ice wyverns, I think. I think I need to get it up at least about half grown before I put it in a crowd pod. Then I'll still probably have time to imprint on it. 32 seconds on this thing. Let's hope this one is at least a 224. Its dad's a 224. Its mom's a 218. So let's hope for the better stats on this one. Could possibly be a 230 if you got the best stats off of both parents. Which would be ideal. up here with this other one. Get some food for you. Check on this wyvern. Something made a noise a minute ago. I'm hoping it wasn't him. He's still got 1,092 food, so he could probably grow up just fine, I think. Where did the other T-Rex look at over there? Get you up here next to him. Probably not want to mate either one of these because they both got the bad health stat. I need to get out and find me some better Rexes actually. I'm not breed anymore until I do. Because these just ain't coming out real good. One of these females had really good health. The other one probably didn't. This one's got the 9,900 health. And this one, right here, I probably should not be mating it anymore. Well, it's got, it's got 100% imprint on it, though, so it's got the bad health. So that's where these other two got bad health from. So I'm thinking I won't use this one anymore. Because I keep getting the low health T-Rexes when I do that. How fast are you growing up? 15%. Let's put a bunch of meat in the feeding trough and we're going to get out and do something. I'm thinking the wyvern will be alright for a while. Like I said, I'd like to get it, get it about halfway grown up before I put it in a crowd pod. T-Rex, I need some of this meat I put in you back. Need to load that feeding trough up because those T-Rexes will chew through it pretty fast. I'm probably going to fly over to, to the Redwood Mountain and see if I can spot any more T-Rexes because I really do need some better ones. I'd like to find one with about 500 melee stand on it. And then maybe one with about a 1200 health stat. 
And I'll probably have some really good boss battles then. The ones I've got right now are just not that great. My fire wyvern's looking pretty good. I know putting meat in it was just a waste of time. And it is at 16%, so we don't want to be gone a long time. I'm going to load these two T-Rexes up with a little bit of meat, and then I'm going to fly my wyvern out to, the, out to the Redwood Mountain and see if there's any Rexes out there. It is 1900 hours, so I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. It's not going to give me much time. Yep, I probably shouldn't do that because it's going to be dark really soon. By the time I get out to the mountain, I won't even have time to look. I don't know, that wyvern's pretty quick. I might be able to fly out there and back before dark. Yeah, let's do a quick buzz around, see if we can get out there. We might spot another high-level T-Rex out there. I have to set up a T-Rex trap to tame it here pretty soon. It's a foggy day, in it? Probably fixing to just drop off pitch dark here any second. So let's see if we can't zip over there and back really quick. I see a red loot drop. We might get that. We do have us a fire wyvern now if we don't let it die, which is pretty cool. And we might have to, in a few days, go back down there and maybe get a few more eggs. I do know there's still a lot of wyverns down there, though. And I still don't know if a thylacolia will jump you off a wyvern or not, so I'm kind of taking a risk here. Whip, a grenade cluster, a flamethrower ammo, mostly junk. Get up here around this mountain before it gets dark, see if there's any rexes up here today. See, it's just about dark now. I see a rex up here every now and then, but not very many. Usually right in this little spot right here is usually where we're at if there is any. Sometimes right up here past where my Argentavis trap is, they sometimes want to spawn up here. Yeah, I just got to thinking I might have to put my T-Rexes in cryopods too because they will mature too fast and I won't get the imprint on them. And that'll be pretty useless if I don't imprint them. That's the bad thing about this Easter event, making things mature real fast, is you can't get imprints on stuff. T-Rexes, I don't know if you can get an imprint on the T-Rex or not with this going on. I sure don't see no T-Rexes up here. Found an alpha one on this side one day. Nothing. Let's get back to base before it gets dark on us. Wow, look at that rainbow. Ain't that something? It just popped into existence right there. That's pretty cool, actually. And it vanished just as quick. For a second. See if I can land him on this. 
Yep, we got it. Just about dark, so I think I'm going to end it off as soon as I get back to base. I just need to get back and check on that baby wyvern before I end the video. So I'm a little bit worried about it. I'm thinking it'll probably mature up fast enough that it won't die on me. Wyvern, you're almost as purple as my stego over there, but not quite. He's got the metallic stuff going on. Got you beat. Wyvern, how's your food situation? Here at 19% now. You still got 1,060 food, so it ain't went down a whole lot. And your health's still are slowly climbing. I'm thinking you'll be all right, but I will probably have to put you in a crowd pot soon. T-Rex is how fast your gun's maturing. 5% and you need an hour and 12 minutes to get an imprint. How long does this one need? An hour and 9 minutes. An hour and 12 minutes. What's your imprint time? 50 minutes. I might be able to grow him up while this event's going on. I don't know. I might give it a shot. If it gets to looking like it ain't going to work, I'll probably give it up. But anyway, it's late in the night, and I'm going to just sit around here with these things and watch stuff around base. So anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And thanks again for watching. This is Tile Creek Rock and the, and the little fire wyvern signing out.